Ava Gardner was often regarded as the most beautiful lady in the entire world. She was conscious of her attraction to men of the other sex and was certain that any male would be drawn to her. One of the surprising disclosures was that Mickey Rooney's first wife, Ava, was the target of his adultery when she was recuperating from an appendectomy since he was such a womaniser. She continued saying that her best friend, Lana Turner, who had slept with Rooney first, called him Andy Hardon, and that he went through the ladies like a hot knife through fudge. Gardner later wed Artie Shaw, and most notably Frank Sinatra, who had deserted his wife for her. On their first date, when they went for a late-night drunken drive, and shot out street lights and store windows with a pair of point three eights, the chairman, Sinatra, realised it was pure love. Gardner had an affair with the married Robert Mitchum while seeing Sinatra. She admitted, I was crazy over him. She revealed to Mitchum that she was seeing Sinatra as well, and he broke things up. He warned that if they engaged in combat, he wouldn't stop until one of you was killed, according to Gardner. Gardner was raised in poverty and illiteracy, but her mother always saw Ava's potential as a movie star. She also did. I wasn't stupid. I was aware that my parents may help me into the studio, she said. She was aware of her lack of acting talent, but didn't really care. She was offered a seven-picture contract by MGM after passing a screen test, and after that, practically every leading guy in Hollywood started vying for her attention. She met Rooney on her first day working on the property. He told her, I wanted to sleep with you the moment I saw you. Gardner was naive and 18 years old. Howard Hughes followed Rooney. Despite the kindness he displayed by paying for the medical treatment of her dying mother, she said, I never liked him, pointing out that he was also bigoted. She replied, If a black man was on fire, Howard wouldn't urinate on him to put him out. She married Shaw. Gardner eventually took an IQ test because she felt so nervous around her new spouse at this point that she was smoking three packs of Winston's a day and drinking non-stop. He convinced me that I was absolutely illiterate. I had a high IQ, however. It wasn't incredibly high. Shaw ditched her for another lady a week after their first anniversary. She made poor choices in partners throughout her life, including George C. Scott, who frequently beat the hell out of me when intoxicated. She wed Sinatra, whom she subsequently referred to as her life's love. Their bond was infamously tumultuous. Gardner underwent two abortions while she was married, and their courtship, which started with all the time drinking and arguing, ended similarly. Ava Gardner led a lavish existence, and it seemed inevitable that she would become one of the main names of Hollywood's golden age, given her breathtaking good looks. Sadly, her attractiveness was also utilised to minimise her exceptional skill. Click here to watch this video next!